My name is Ayn Rand. I was born in Arasha on the 5th of February, 1905. My parents, Anna and Zinovi, owned a pharmacy. When I was 12, my sisters and I watched the communist revolution from the window of our apartment. Then, soldiers came and took our money, our business and our home. We left the city and for many years we struggled with barely enough food to survive. But there still was cinema and on screen I saw a vision of a better world. America was a place where I would be treated as an individual, a place I could follow my dreams. So I went. I made my way from New York to Hollywood, where I met my husband, Frank. At this time, I am a writing machine. I sell a script, then I sell a play. I am on Broadway. They make my play into a movie and they ruin the entire thing. They turn the heroes into villains and the villains into heroes. This was infuriating, but it gave me an idea. Howard Rourke. Howard Rourke is an architect who will not compromise his creative vision for the sake of others. He would rather take a job breaking rocks in a quarry than break his integrity, because his integrity and his genius was the fountainhead of his success. Here, I developed the idea of selfishness and self-esteem, believing in oneself. And I had to believe in myself completely. Twelve publishers rejected The Fountainhead. In the end, I was vindicated. The Fountainhead was published. They made a movie with Gary Cooper and Patricia Neal. I'm back in Hollywood. But back in Russia, millions are dying as communism destroys that country and poisons other countries. It is bad enough what is happening in Russia. But worse is that my new country, America, is romanticizing these communist ideals. It is the era of labor. Workers were being organized to go on strike. But what if, what if the people who start the businesses, who invent the cures, who compose the music, what if they went on strike? This is the idea for Atlas Shragged. In Atlas Shragged, I wrote about a terrible future in which the values and the politics that turn Russia into a communist hell and Germany into a Nazi nightmare were on the rise in America. My heroine was Dagny Taggart. She ran a railroad company, even though she was a woman, and some said she couldn't do it. Like Dagny, I loved my life, and I loved my work. I had a mission to present a vision of men and women not as fallen, helpless creatures, not as members of this group or that, this race, this religion, this class, but of the human being as a rational individual, of a world in which individuals are free to live their lives for their own sakes, to live and love on their own terms, a society that celebrates achievement, dignity, respect, honesty, and love. I lived this life. I achieved my dreams. Will you achieve yours?